So the sign you're looking at right now is the sign, it's the very last thing you see before you hit the field at the Alamo Dome for the state marching contest. That's the goal. You want to find something? You want to find bulletin board material? Area Saturday is coming up this weekend. The goal is to be looking at that sign on the first week of November. That knows you made to the mountain. That means you made it to the mountaintop. It means you're at the top of your game. And you means you're at the state marching contest. Who's going to get there? We're going to figure that out this weekend. Let me help you guide through it. My name is Daniel Valdez. Good morning again, Daniel Valdez again. Glad to talk to you all. I'm sure we've got some new people that are just uh, finding this thing out. So I'll quickly introduce myself. My name is Daniel Valdez. I am a TexasBands.com mo uh, moderator. The uh, I don't know what I do there. Content creator, blogger, uh, and then I do this on the side. So, let's get to it. Area contest this Saturday. Lots to get to. This is going to go over all the areas. I am going to uh, kind of give information about each area instead of putting out nine separate videos. That would have been... Uh, I would, my head would have exploded. So, we'll just make it one long thing. We'll go over the process and each area and what they have to offer and whatnot. I will put... Uh, thumbnails in the description so that if you are not thumbnails, uh, whatever, timestamps. God, my brain is gone. Uh, I'll put timestamps in uh, for each of the areas. So if you want to skip around and pick which one you want to listen to, or if you just want to listen to all of them, I don't care. It's up to you. But I'll put that in there just as a convenience for you all. So area contest. We did the region. People that got a one got a one. Now they're moving on to area. Area prelims. Uh, that determines how many people, uh, the ones at region determine how many people go to area prelims. Area prelims determines how many people you take to area finals. Area prelims also determines how many bands you take from area finals and certify them to the state marching contest. It's different for every area. Uh, I'll walk you through the process a little bit and uh, we'll just get to it. UIL area judging, Five uh, judges, three uh, music judges, they all have the same exact sheet. Two marching judges, they all have the same exact sheet. There are no field judges in uh, UIL competition, so please keep that in mind. All your points are coming from upstairs. Area prelims, area finals, and then the certified to state marching contest. It's pretty straightforward, um, so let's get to it. Area Saturday, October 27, 2018. Nine different area contests, all in all, when the dust is settled and everything is concluded on this Saturday night. 40 bands, 46A programs, will be invited to the state marching contest in the first week of November here in San Antonio at the Alamo Dome. That is the goal, and it has been the goal for a lot of programs all season long. So let's get to it. Let me pull everything up here real quick. Oh my goodness. Let's do it. Area A marching contest. We're out in West Texas, Ratliff Stadium in Odessa, Texas. That is 14 bands total for Area A. Seven marching contest. Uh, just to repeat it, uh, 14 total bands, seven to area finals, two to state marching contest. Let's check it out. Look at that schedule. So basically all four bands that made Area A, that made state from Area A in 2016, uh, they're back. And now they're taking half the bands. So this is going to be a big dogfight. Looking at Midland Lee, Franklin, Coronado, they all perform one after another uh, in the prelims contest. San Angelo Central actually made state contest, I believe, in 2014. Uh, so we'll see if they can get back again. America's at 2.45 p.m. and Permian at 4 p.m. Lots of good programs out there. They love competing against each other. Love having those bragging rights. Remember, only two are going to get in. So you're, you're going to... You got to really bring it. It's two performances, uh, and you really need to knock each performance out because the next performance is absolutely not guaranteed. Speaking of which, let's go to Area B Marching Contest, Birdville ISD Stadium in North Richland Hills, Texas. 29 bands are competing at Area B. 10 will make Area Finals. Five will go on to the State Marching Contest. Objectively speaking... In terms of depth of the competition, this is the most difficult area in the state. Period, exclamation point, quotation marks. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's talk about the contest. 
look at the second block. This is, and I'm not making this up. This, the second block has these seven programs going one after another. Timber Creek, James Martin, Keller, L.D. Bell, Keller Central, Duncanville, Capel. Yeah. <laughs> this, is one of those, this is one of those contests where you've got like 15 programs that have an objectively legitimate shot at making area finals. Somebody's going to get left out. There are going to be a lot of people scratching their head after this simply because of how deep this contest is. There are a lot of fantastic programs that are not going to make area finals that would make state if they were part of, a part of any other area in the state. But this is the price that is paid, if you want to frame it that way, for you know being around such great programs. DFW has a ton of great programs that all live like right next to each other. So, again, uh, performance. It has to go down at area prelims. And off performance... A lackluster performance, an uninspired performance in area prelims, guess what? You're going to be watching area finals in the stands. And that's the sad truth about it. Everybody's dealt with rain. Everybody's dealt with canceled rehearsals. Everybody has dealt with canceled contests. Everybody's dealt with it. It means nothing anymore. The object is to knock it out of the park every single time. A finals performance... If you're used to finals performances, uh, even with bad perform, even with a lackluster performance, it's not guaranteed. Not at this level, and especially not at this area. You must knock it out of the park in order to advance. Looking at Trinity, looking at Waxahachie, looking at Carroll, those are on the third block. Fourth block features Haltom, Richland, Prosper, and Plano East. Again, somebody's going to get left out. Who's it going to be? Don't let it be you. Go out there and perform. And let the cards fall where they may. That's really all I got to say about Area B. It's the toughest area in the state, period, exclamation point, quotation marks. Simple. Area C marching contest. Miss, uh, Memorial Stadium in Mesquite, Texas. We are taking 25 total bands at Area C. 10 will go to Area Finals. 5 get certified to the state marching contest. Right off the bat, 9.30 a.m., you get hit with Marcus. Uh... This is kind of a trend. Really good programs have drawn very early times at prelims, at area prelims. And by the way, area prelims, no matter what the area it is, it's all a complete random draw. And then area finals, some of it's already predetermined by a random draw. Uh, some areas will actually let you pick which time, not actually choose what time, but you pick randomly of which time you would get uh, for area finals should you advance. Uh, but it's all random draw. Uh, Marcus, first block, uh, Rowlett uh, on the first block as well. Rowlett always seems to get into state marching contests. They always do well at uh, UIL contests. Looking at Lake Highlands, looking at Mesquite, looking at Flower Mound in the second block. Flower Mound, defending, reigning 6A state champions. Berkner, Louisville, Byron Nelson featured in the third block after lunch. And then fourth block, you got three bands in a row that are pretty interesting. Wiley always does well at UIL. McKinney Boyd plays very well this season. And your, silver, your reigning defending silver medalist at 6A contest, Hebron. So obviously you're looking at the usual suspects, Flower Mound, Marcus Hebron. And then you've got two other spots that you know are kind of up for grabs. You're looking at Berkner, you're looking at Rowlett, you're looking at Wiley. Again, somebody's going to get left out. Bring your A game. If you're used to success, if you had success this season, doesn't matter. Got to perform. Area D marching contest, Hero Stadium in San Antonio, Texas, my backyard. Uh, 32 total bands. That's the most out of any area. 10 to area finals. 6 to the state marching contest. That's the most out of any area. Let's go to area D. Let's check this out real quick. Cedar Ridge with an early start time at 9 a.m. There were state uh, contest participants, I believe, uh, 2016. Successful season so far. James Bowie, 945. Also made the state contest in 2016. Second block. Westwood, Ronald Reagan, Claudia Taylor Johnson, and Churchill all in the second block. So that's going to be pretty action-packed. So if you can get there to watch that, those uh, programs, I highly suggest you do that. Third block, you're featuring Hendrickson. Uh, their, their traveling tour that they keep doing uh, is going to end up here in San Antonio. I look forward to their, to their performances. 
Round Rock at 415 in the, in the fourth block. And then you got to look at a couple of other programs because you're, you're kind of looking at big names. You really kind of pick out about eight programs that you think would, okay, they'll probably get into to area finals. That only leaves kind of two places left for the t for your uh, to round out your 10 area finalists. Looking at programs like, and I've seen them, Spencer Valley, Canyon, you know, these programs are, uh, they, they play pretty well. And again, it's the UIL system. You have more music judges than you have marching judges, so you're automatically going to get rewarded a little bit more if you play your music well. So keep that in mind. Area D is always a tough contest. Remember, you're advancing six, so that's, I think that's sixth spot. The, the top five, I think you can kind of guess who it's going to be. But again, they still got to perform. They still got to knock it out of the park. But that sixth spot is going to really come down to a couple of programs. So it'll be interesting to see how it goes. Again, performance, performance, performance. Area E marching contest, Challenger Columbia Stadium in Webster, Texas. Love that stadium name. That is awesome. Uh, area E is taking 24 total bands, 10 to area finals, 5 to state marching contest. Now you're probably reading that and going, well, wait a minute. The 1 for 5 rule means that they should only be taking 4. Well, here's the explanation. There's a program out of Area E that qualified for area, but they are unable to attend the area contest due to some sort of school conflict or whatever. But because they qualified, they still get to, the area still gets to certify 5 contests. So even though it's 24 bands and they should only be uh, sending 4, because they technically qualified 25, that... Uh, that counts towards the certification. So five for Area E marching contest. Look at that. Check it out. First, again, we're talking about programs that have been successful, that had success this season, and uh, they draw early times. Case in point, Dawson at 9.30 right off the bat. <laughs> Fantastic program. They've had success at 5A. Planning to see them at 6A contest as well. Stephen F. Austin at 10 a.m. Uh, that's the best program they've had in years, so I'm glad. It's been a long climb for them along with other couple of big-name programs in the state. So uh, look forward to seeing their performances. Dulles in the second block, Pasadena Memorial in the second block as well. Pasadena Memorial has probably one of the best drum lines you'll ever hear in the state. Third block features Brazoswood and Clements going back-to-back. -back. So uh, it'll be interesting to see where they end up in area finals. Clear Schools take over the fourth block, Clear Lake, Clear Springs, and Clear Brook. Pearland... Uh, starts out the fifth and final block there. Love Pearland. I love their show last year. It's a good show this year as well. Again, you're certifying five to state. So you're probably looking at the names. You're like, okay, this program, this program, this program. Well, you still got to perform. <laughs> Nothing is guaranteed at area. So keep that in mind as you are uh, watching programs. Area F marching contest. Galena Park ISD Stadium in Humble, Texas. Uh, 23 total bands for Area F, 10 to Area Finals, 4 to the State Marching Contest. Look at that. Three blocks only. So let's check this out. North Shore at 945. They were a state finalist a couple of years ago. College Park at 10 a.m. Uh, having a successful season this year. We'll see if they can get to state. Westfield right after them. Uh, probably their best program that they've had in years, so I'm glad to see them back at where they need to be. Oak Ridge and the Woodlands. Performing back-to-back -to, -back to start off the second block. Oak Ridge, very impressive season. One of those programs that has had a breakout season. Let's see if they can continue it. The Woodlands are, you know, the Woodlands. State uh, finalist a couple of years ago. Klein Kane is one of those up-and-coming programs. They're performing at 1245. Uh, getting numbers, building the program. They should be around for a while. Look at that third block, Tomball Memorial at 245, another young program that's still building numbers, and they're, I have a feeling they're going to be around a while. What do they, all these programs have in common? These young programs that are starting to really break out, they all play their horns well. It's not an accident. <laughs> that's the, it's the foundation of the whole thing. So good luck to everybody there. Area G, Marching Contest, United ISD Student Activity Complex in Laredo, Texas. 26 total bands, 10 to area finals, 5 to the state marching contest. There's a reason why we have more areas this year. It's because Area G was just getting way out of hand. You were having a, close to 40 programs compete, and the contest was going super long, and it was very difficult to make a name for yourself at that contest. It was pretty nuts. So uh, the San Antonio schools are no longer part of Area G. 
uh, thanks to the newest um, realignment through UIL. So you're really dealing with just Valley programs here. So let's take a look at them. Again, programs that have had success this season are drawing early times for prelims. Case in point, Alexander at 10 a.m., second band on, successful uh, season, good, doing good stuff. Uh, very impressive performance at the uh, McAllen Regional. San Benito, same thing, McAllen Regional, top five performance, 10.45 a.m. Look at Juarez Lincoln at 11.45 a.m. You got some good programs here. United was a uh, McAllen Regional finalist. They're on at 1.15. Looking at uh, Edinburgh and Vela, and Edinburgh Vela going on at the second block. Third block features Hannah and Brownsville Rivera looking at those programs as well. Remember, it's five programs. Is it five programs? Yes, it is. It's five programs to the state marching contest. Usually it's the same programs out of Air EG that go year after year after year. I think you're going to see some a little bit of a mix-up here, a little bit of a little bit of a changing of the guard, which is great. I love seeing new programs come up and get to uh, and get to state because it's a big deal and it's a big program builder as well. Area H marching contest, Rutledge Stadium in Converse, Texas. This is going to be an interesting one. 19 total bands, 7 to area finals, 3 to the state marching contest. This is going to be difficult to get in the state contest other than the three that I'm going to mention. So just missed out on 20 bands. If there had been 20 bands, they'd have been able to take a fourth band to state marching contest. Unfortunately, it didn't work out that way. So let's go over the list. Area H. Look at Del Rio and Lake Travis performing one after another early in the morning, earlier in the morning. This is going to be a short contest as well. Westlake at, at high noon, 12 p.m. Look at the second block. Leander, 1 p.m. Vandegrift, 2 p.m. Vista Ridge, 2.30. It is going to be a task to knock one of those three out of the uh, state contest. It's going to be, it's going to be a, a challenge. We'll, we'll put that lightly. And as far as those three go, anyone, Leander Vandegrift or Vista Ridge, any one of them could win this area. I wouldn't be surprised in the least because they're all that good. Again, performance, performance, performance. You've really got those four spots left over for area finals. So there's, some, there's, there's, a, there's an opportunity for some San Antonio programs to get into area finals, make a little bit of a name for themselves, something to hang their hat on, and to build off of from the years to come. Area I marching contest, the final area, Legacy Stadium in Katy, Texas. 25 total bands, 10 to area finals, 5 to the state marching contest. Again, programs, I've said it again, programs that have been successful this season are drawing early times. Case in point, Seven Lakes is the first, part, is the first one on area I at 9.15, and then right after them, Cy Fair at 9.30. AM. So you got two fantastic programs that have had fantastic shows, great performances, good success, and now it's time for them to shine. Let's go to the second block. The Cy Schools take it over. Cy Falls at 1045, Cy Springs 11, and then Cy Ranch at 1115. Look at the third block. Bridgeland at 1 p.m. This is a program that, again, it's a young program. They play well. Don't be surprised if they go into that they get into the state marching contest. It won't shock me in the least. Langham Creek has been around forever. They're back at 115. You got a, the Katie schools uh, hitting up on the fourth block. Taylor at 245. Tompkins at 3 p at 3 p.m. They're fantastic programs. I really enjoy seeing their shows. And then some more Cypress schools. Cy Woods at 4 uh, p.m. Cy Creek at 4:30. Seagull Ranch closes the contest out at 445. That's area, folks. That's nine areas. Isn't that crazy? Again, when it's all said and done, 40 programs will be certified to the state marching contest. It is UIL. So what does that mean? It means you need to be objectively good. You need to be on the ball in all sections. Everybody's at a brass, winds, percussion, uh, a guard, you got to be moving well. I mean, you can't you can't hide out there. <laughs> Even though there aren't any field judges, you cannot hide because you got three music judges. If you make a mistake out there, somebody's going to notice. <laughs> somebody's going to somebody's going to figure it out. So keep that in mind. I wish everybody fantastic performances this Saturday. I wish everybody good luck. 
I wish everybody great health this Saturday. It is the most intense marching Saturday in the nation, in my opinion. Just because there are all these contests going on at the exact same time. Everybody's doing the exact same thing and they're all trying to get to one goal. They're trying to get to that sign. They're trying to get to that, that, that Alamo Dome. They're trying to come home to my backyard, to my neck of the woods. And I hope to see you all there. Good luck to everybody. Uh, we're going to have wall-to-wall coverage this weekend about you know results and everything, of course. And I'll uh, try to put something together special for you all. Thank you so much for listening. Go get it, area. You got your chance. Here you go. Thank you all so much for listening. Take care. Adios. Bye-bye.